So, we have all heard about The Last of Us Part 2 in some sort of capacity, whether it was by leaks, a review, maybe you played it already, or maybe you watched your favorite YouTuber play it. But the real question is, is this game safe to play? And in my honest opinion, no it's not. There are so many things wrong with the gameplay and the mechanics of this game that I have to make a separate video to actually show you guys clips of me playing this game so you can see exactly what it is I am talking about. The gameplay and the mechanics is definitely my biggest beef with the game. I gotta show you guys a couple of recipes so we can see what's on the menu when that video comes out. So the shooting physics in that game are slow and clunky and they just suck. You get all these skills and it doesn't even change a lot of the problems that you have in the gameplay. The gameplay is just extremely static and it relies heavily on stealth and stuns. And with all the perks and stuff, you cannot play the game as you want. But like I said, I'm making a whole nother video to show you guys exactly what I dislike about this game's gameplay. All the reviews that you heard calling this game a masterpiece, they are lying so hard and honestly they're just advertising for Naughty Dog. I am here to give you guys a complete review, I'm talking about the full game and it's gonna be my opinion unfiltered. I am not here trying to satisfy anybody, but I am gonna give my opinion as it is. So let's talk about the leaks of the game. Spoilers. All the leaks that I came across were all true. Joe dying in the first two hours of the game. True. Them making you play as Abby for two thirds of the game. True. I wasn't even like looking for the spoilers too, but I happened to just to come across it on the internet. So sucks, but they're true. When the leaks dropped, they made us think that the game was gonna be full of SJW propaganda, feminist propaganda, and LGBT propaganda. This was a very long game, it was like 20 something hours, and there was a lot of cutscenes too, so that type of stuff is definitely in the game, but it's not jammed down your throat, so you should be fine if you're worried about that. Considering the length of the game too, like, it's hardly in the game if you're considering the length too. But I will say there's a couple of scenes with Ellie where they definitely use her character to appeal to LGBT plus themes rather than focus on the world of The Last of Us, which is functioning in a post-apocalyptic environment. Now, let me just say I have no issues with nobody's preference or anything like that, and I couldn't possibly care less what they are. Now, in the world of fiction, a character written with substance and how they infect that external environment or the world that they're in makes them a good written character. Internal qualities like preference does not make them a good character unless they are written with substance like I said earlier. In this game we definitely miss some substance with Ellie. Also want to mention you do not have to worry about all men are trash propaganda in this game. Everybody catches the work in this game whether you're white, black, Asian, male, or female. Everybody gets it. Now let's talk about the story. So the story honestly was very misleading by the advertising of this game. You're told this game is a story about Ellie's revenge, but whole time you're playing this game and two thirds of the game you're playing the game as Abby. You might as well take Ellie off the case and replace her face with Abby's since she's played two thirds of the time. The game didn't give me what I wanted from Ellie. I wanted to see how her character development was going to be in this game. I wanted to see how she was going to interact with the other factions in this game. What other characters from different factions that she's going to develop relationships with. But this game gives you all that for Abby. Bro, the second time you play as Abby, you hate that character. But I'm not going to lie, as the game progresses, that character has a lot of redeeming qualities to them. But I wanted all that substance to revolve around Ellie, not Abby like it was advertised. I remember seeing the trailer for this game and then you hear Joe say, you think I'm going to let you do this on your own. So I'm thinking Joel and Ellie are going out on another adventure to do something. And then I see the leaks and then I'm thinking, okay, maybe Joel dies in the process. But it's just complete misleading advertisement. Overall, I thought the story was pretty bland, but the story does have strong points with both Ellie and Abby, but you better believe it has way more stronger points with Abby than Ellie. These points were strong enough to the point where I will do character analysis for the characters in this game because there was definitely some neat things that I noticed in the plot of the game. 
I'm not on the bandwagon of hating this game, but I am gonna tell it as I see it. Now there were some points that I really did like to this game and definitely expect character analysis videos for the things that I liked about the characters in this game. Fuck yeah. And expect a gameplay mechanic breakdown. Expect the video why I think the plot was kind of weak. So I'm gonna give this game a 5 out of 10, like I just beat it yesterday. I don't think this game is safe to play, but I am gonna break down the characters, the plot, and the gameplay, so stay tuned for those videos. This video is pretty much just a series preview coming to my channel, and I will see you guys during the series. Vibe out.